Hello, everyone. I am uh, Alexi, and I'm here to present to you Look Healthy, which aims to make uh, eye care accessible to everyone and everywhere. Facing a growing crisis in access to eye care, millions of people throughout the world are left without proper care, mainly due to a shortage of practitioners, low exams profitability, and the reliance on outdated equipment, which is further reinforced by aging populations and increasing ocular conditions. As an example, over 50% of glaucoma patients remained undiagnosed, making it the leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide. All of this is creating a need, a need for better access and a need for simplification, but always with the same level of quality. And that's why we've created a solution that meets these industry requirements and is supported by a team of experts who share our vision to make eye exams accessible to millions of people through a simplified process and always at gold standard quality. Through this solution, we are addressing the needs of all the eye care professionals in one device only. Our expertise is the software that we developed. It is hardware agnostic and is pre-installed into a wireless virtual reality headset equipped with an eye tracker and controlled by a tablet. Eight, costly, cumbersome equipment currently used by eye care professionals. This is what we've combined into a unique solution, which is significantly less expensive and as easy to carry as a laptop. We developed this unique solution with tailored modules to, um, uh, to assist opticians in uh, lens centering on one side. It provides a better experience impacting patient loyalty and facilitating the sales process. And on the other hand, it is a simplified screening device that combines eight exams and helps ophthalmologists diagnose not only multiple ocular pathologies such as glaucoma, but also neurological disorders. It saves time and improves workflow. Amongst all the equipment, allowing to perform eye exams, VR is the most promising one. It is clinically validated and looking at the industry requirements, access, simplification, and quality, it imposes itself as the universal technological foundation for eye exams. We have all the key capabilities and capacities secured for success within us co-founders with complementary skills and experiences, whether it's IT, medical, or sales. Also in our operational team through our quality, regulatory, and R&D departments. And we have access to external key resources through our medical board with ophthalmologists who are also um, center, uh, directors of eye care centers and come along with a broad network, as well as an orthoptist, an optician, and business advisors. Now, for our screening module, our preferred clients are the eye care centers. Our solution reduces the exam failure rate and saves them a tremendous amount of time during the examination. Using only one of our VR headsets will increase their margin by 120%, almost 7,000 euros a month, by allowing them to perform more exams, and all of that without needing more staff. The key metrics for eye screening, mainly scope of exams and the level of scientific evidence, show that we are in a prime position to become leader on this market, particularly against U.S. companies who are faced with strong barriers when it comes to their GDPR and regulatory strategies. Commercialization will start in France early next year through our internal sales team. Due to regulatory constraints, we will sell first to opticians starting Q1 2024 before addressing the ophthalmologist market later in 25. We will deploy to Europe through distributors with a milestone of reaching 1.5 million euros in ARR based on December 2026. From a regulatory standpoint, our QMS is already in place and we'll get CE marking next year. Our key upcoming milestone will be to get our clinical and medical economic evidence next year, which will help set our solution as the new gold standard. We're looking here at a very interesting market with right now an attractive, obtainable market of more than half a billion euros. And since the inception of the company in 2021, we've been moving pretty fast to secure our leadership position. We raised over 600,000 euros last year, thanks to investments from ophthalmologists. 
And we're now looking for 750,000 euros to help us commercialize our screening device on the ophthalmic market. And we would love for you to join now and accompany us in our mission to give millions of people proper access to eye care. Thank you very much for your attention. I have a question. Thank you, Alexi, for the presentation. That's uh, really interesting. Um, can you de detail a little bit more uh, about your go-to-market strategy? Uh, how uh, will you uh, tackle the uh, ophthalmologist? Uh, how will you do? So first, we definitely uh, will rely a lot <clears throat> on our uh, medical board. <clears throat> I'm sorry, medical board and the KOLs that we have, uh, that we have with us. Um, they are, first of all, potential future clients, but also great ambassadors of the uh, of the brand. We will first um, target the uh, the growing eye care centers, which is uh, something that's definitely growing within the eye care eye care industry. So the eye care centers and the chain of uh, of eye care centers uh, through uh, through key partnership through key partnerships. We're already in contact with uh, with some of them. The probably the best example would be Point Vision, uh, which is the number one chain of eye care centers uh, in France. Um, we are also definitely looking into uh, uh, more than looking at uh, targeting hospitals and clinics, even though we know their timing to uh, um, to um, approve an innovative solution is a little longer. So it also reflects in our in our sales uh, sales prediction and uh, as well as the um, um, more smaller private practice of uh, ophthalmologists as well as orthoptists, which in France are the users, even though the ophthalmologists really usually are the the deciders and the buyers and obviously more generally speaking presence thanks to our KOLs and our board presence at dedicated conferences that are usually only uh limited to uh to to eye care professionals and uh, presence at uh, at several uh, trade shows thank you you're welcome thank you Gil. um yes C can you uh, uh tell us a bit about uh which test you want to replace uh, first, for which indication and how you uh, validated that your your test was was better. So, what the results were? Yeah. So de de definitely. So, as I mentioned, there's there's seven exams, seven instruments that we uh, that we are replacing uh, at least for the uh, for the ophthalmologist. The the main one by far is definitely the visual field, which is the one that helps diagnose uh, glaucoma. The other ones uh, are part of the oculometer assessment or orthoptic assessment. Uh, it, it, it depends on how you how you name it, uh, and, and it includes uh, color blindness, uh, depth perception, uh, PPC, and, uh, and 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 several other that help to the, to um, to diagnose uh, color blindness. Uh, that help to diagnose a lot of uh, neurological disorders, uh, and so and so on. And how we wish to how we wish to validate them? Definitely, this is uh, there's some tests that we've already been uh, performing and that are showing good level of um, reliance and repeatability. And this is what we work, we are going to be demonstrating on a more uh, I would say official level through our clinical trials, which are going to be multi centric, taking place po uh, partly in a, uh, un um, a university hospital as well as um, city centers. Uh, because different exams are more, I mean, make more sense to be performed in a hospital versus uh, in town. Thank you, Alexi. You mentioned Point Vision. Uh, yes. Could you identify what their main pain is today and why would they shift uh, to your solution? Why, what, what are your best claims uh, for Point Vision? Yeah. So Point, Point Vision is uh, is uh, is a model that is definitely spreading. There's been a lot of uh, other um, um, kind of copies. It's not really the right word, but other other models following uh, what what Point Vision has done. Point Vision is really based on um, treating or at least seeing more patients, and also for them in a more cost effective way. So they're very interesting in anything that always, as I mentioned during the presentation, always the same level of quality. This is the foundation. But they're very interesting in anything that allows them to either reduce the time of an examination or optimize the time, the medical time during the uh, examination. And this is what our solution does. Also, the ergonomics and the portability of our solution 
allows them to um, improve their workflow within their uh, center. So you don't have to go to a dedicated room for visual field, then be moved to another one for another examination. Everything can take place in one, uh, in one room. Also using a virtual reality headset allows them to expand the type of patients they can treat or they can see. Uh, for instance, handicapped patient, obese patients, uh, are are usually uh, struggling with the current equipment. So it's also something that they're very interested to. Uh, and the other, the second thing is Point Vision uh, right now is very big, uh, very big, I'm sorry, on what we call the secondary centers, which are centers they open one hour, one hour and a half away from a big city, again, to help with the, with the medical desert. And uh, again, the portability and the significantly less expensive cost of our solution is is a great fit for their uh, for their model.